I don't know why I'm getting emotional now. <laughs> God, I don't want to do this fast in vain. I need you to help me break through. You are getting stressed because you're not at my feet. You are getting stressed because you're carrying your own burden and I've told you to give me your burden. God will show up. God will show up for you. Trust me. Hi wonderful people and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. I'm Vanessa. I share content on the Christian faith, health, money and lifestyle. So today this video is all about my personal experience of doing the Daniel fast. I'm going to be totally transparent, share my downfalls, areas to avoid and share my personal experience and how God's really transformed me in this season that I took on doing the fast for the first time ever in my Christian life. And I've been a Christian for over 10 years. So let's get straight into it. So what is the Daniel fast? Daniel 10 verse 2 and at the time I Daniel moaned for three weeks I ate no choice foods no meat or wine touched my lips and I used no lotions at all until three weeks were over the Daniel fast stems from Daniel chapter 1 and also from Daniel chapter 10 where Daniel avoided eating foods of choices he avoided dairy he avoided uh, meat he avoided caffeine he avoided sugar and there are other things to avoid as well because the diet that we live in now is quite different to the diet they had then so i will go into that into a bit more detail as we go along and i do want to share my personal experience i must admit i started off on the wrong foot so do stay tuned as we go along so first things when i started the fast the reason why i started the fast was purely because I did not feel great within myself. If I'm being perfectly honest, I physically felt sick. I physically felt drained. I physically felt my mind was clouded. I just felt down and I just knew I needed a change. And I know change comes from fasting, but I just didn't know how to go about it. So I started thinking about doing the Daniel fast and then a friend of mine who goes to my church said she's starting the Daniel fast. I'm like, God, this is a sign <laughs> because I've been battling with where do I go from here? How do I go about it? And then someone right there tells me they're going to be doing something and they're starting on Monday. And this was like maybe on a Thursday, the week before. So I was just like, whatever you're doing, I'm doing it as well. Let me know what we have to do and I'm going to do it because I start and stop things all the time. And God, I am done. I am tired of just not being in control. I am tired of diet and just having no ability to sustain anything. And that's when I just decided I am going to do this. Rain, shine, snow, hunger, no hunger. I must complete this 21 day fast. So and that's exactly what I did. So initially, when I started the fast, I just focused on the food element. I must admit it wasn't heavily spiritual the first week was not heavily spiritual because i had not set my agenda on why i wanted to do the fast even though i wanted to clear my mind and even though i wanted to get rid of this heaviness i was feeling i had not written down what i wanted to get out of the fast even though i had it moving in my mind i hadn't written it down so i would advise before you even start the fast write four things you want to get out of this fast and as time went on, I did write what I wanted to get out of it, but I did not start off that way. So I was more focused on the food. I started filming, because I'm a content creator, I just started filming the different meals I was coming up with. That really was exciting for me because I got to try new meals and different ways of cooking, changing my cooking style. And that was really exciting, but I was not growing spiritually. And then as time went on, I started to realize, okay, something's not right with this fast. I'm doing great on that food end, but my spiritual life is just declining and declining. And then with that, the devil started getting into my head. When I say the devil got into my head, I mean the devil was getting into my head that he, like he started attacking me for doing a fast, but not doing it spiritually enough. So don't give the devil a foothold especially when you're fasting because that's when he would try it with you because you're a bit more vulnerable but you this is where you're supposed to be building your spiritual element so i had to step back 
from doing this fast, not that I stopped the fast, I did not stop the fast the whole 21 days, did not stop it at all. But I had to step back and really think about why am I doing this? Why am I fasting? And if my why matters enough, I will tap into what God has for me. So that led me to physically <laughs> having a breakdown. I physically had a breakdown. And this is, I'll say, maybe 10 days into the fast. I had a physical breakdown of, God, I'm tired. I can't do this. I Not because I'm struggling with the food, but I'm struggling with the condemnation I'm experiencing by doing well on the food end, but not growing spiritually. And that's something that we, I had to really battle with. And sometimes the devil, I've written blog posts about it as I went along the journey. So do check it out. I'll link it below as well. Um, the devil really got into my head in the element of what you think because you're not eating meat, you're more spiritual or you're going to have a breakthrough or getting into my head with relationships I had with people. So this took me back to, I have to go back. I have to go back. <laughs> I have to go back to why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's not about losing weight. It's not about getting healthy. It's not about reducing inflammation in my body. It's not about even just removing the cloud on my mind. It's about getting closer to God. This is when my fast really started. My fast started when I confessed to other people because other ladies in my church were doing a fast with me. I confessed to them saying, okay, I'm, guys, I'm genuinely really struggling. I'm not praying. I'm not reading my Bible. I, I started the devotion, but that's just about it. Just to tick it off rather than genuinely having a desire to want to read it. And once I confessed that, because the devil does not like, the devil likes to t attack people in isolation. So when you're when he's in your mind and you're getting these attacks in your mind that's where he can condemn you and bombard you with your own thoughts but once the second i confessed it out and said i need help on direction i need help on actually how to do this fast properly that's where things started off again so i'm going to show you what i did to do the fast properly so first thing was i started to journal I have a journal, I've got a few journals, if I'm being perfectly honest, I've got about 15, 10 different journals. I'll link this one, this one's a really good one, where it says, with God all things are possible, and it's got scriptures, like you've got scriptures at the bottom, I'll link it below for you if anyone's interested in. And I just started to read, but it started off with journaling, I just started to write my heart out, I sat down, put some worship music on, and I was just like, God... I am doing this fast and I don't want to do it in vain. I don't. I don't know why I'm getting emotional now. <laughs> God, I don't want to do this fast in vain. I need you to help me break through in the areas of my life that I may be ignoring as not important. Bring it to the forefront of my mind so that I can work on them. And that's when God just brought back to me, there are four main areas that I needed to focus on. So that included my health, which it mattered, even though I didn't do this fast for to lose weight, my health mattered because I have IBS, I have ehlers syndrome, I have um, inflammation in my joints, I've got, I've got um, allergies to wheat, gluten, dairy, name it. Everything I'll eat will make me sick, chronic migraines, fatigue. I was just done and I was just tired and I knew how I was eating was impacting that but I didn't know how to change that so that's one area that I was praying God give me a breakthrough because I can't keep doing this the second area was within my business God what direction do you want me to grow this business in where do you want me to go how do you want me to go about it and I must admit God gave me the clarity I was been looking for during this fast he provided the clarity God will show up God will show up for you. Trust me. If you commit to him, he will show up because he will never leave nor forsake us. He's always been there. We just need to tap into it. We need to tap into our spiritual um, arena because God's just waiting like, ask and it shall be given. It's, he said it in his word. Ask, knock, seek, seek me. So that's the second area of what I need to work on. My relationships with others was another area that God brought to my attention that I needed to love people more and draw 
build better relationships with people especially during these lockdowns and isolations and season of not being able to just be around people people need to know that you care about them people need to know that you're there for them even if it's over the phone or for a video call just checking in on people that's another area god really brought to my attention and the fourth one was my relationship with him my relationship with god god really made me come to the place of i know the spiritual lingo yes i am seen as a christian influencer or seen as someone who knows what she's talking about but that intimate secret place needs to be built that intimate secret place needs to be cultivated so that's where the whole journey started again within the fast so in regards to spiritual growth the first thing was i started journaling I started journaling, I started worshipping God, I found devotions on the U, ver um, U version that helped me. Do find below, um, I've created like a little ebook for anybody who's interested in doing the fast so that you don't make any mistakes I make and some recipe ideas if you're interested in getting that. Just find the link below. With the journaling, I started doing worship music. Just put in worship because it says enter into his presence with praise. So I started to put worship music on, not because I felt like, okay, now, uh, now it's time to pray. It was more like, I genuinely, how can I not desire wanting to be in the presence of the most high how can i not want to be at the feet of the king of kings and lord of lords that my interest and my joy comes from other things rather than being in the presence of god god really brought that to my attention that you need to tap into knowing me you need to tap into being in my presence so that's what i started to do i'll just find time and just put myself to the side and even if i didn't feel like praying hard, uh, harshly or going blah, 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 <laughs> straight away just being in worship just singing along to worship music on my own being a mum, you've got children running around just finding at least an hour here and there just to reconnect with yourself and reconnect with god was important so with my journey and i was able to write prayer points because being in silence in the at the feet of god god brings things to your mind god's able to bring you solutions in regards for example in my business god was literally giving me clarity and strategy giving me step by step what i needed to do within my business giving me um <laughs> things people pay thousands of dollars for with coaches. God is giving me his own coaching on how he wants me to build this brand, build this business that I'm building. And just knowing that I have that privilege that I need to continue to seek that. With that, I started to draw closer to God. With that, I was able to build better relationships with people, get in touch with people, see how they're doing. With that, I was able to be more transparent with where I was at with other women in my church. With that, I was able to grow as an individual as a wife just knowing to be hold my tongue when needed as a wife to pray for my husband to pray for our relationship pray for my family pray for people around me just getting into that spiritual realm of just being in the presence of god this is what the daniel fast did for me this is what it did for me spiritually i grew spiritually and physically, I lost a bit of weight, but less to do with losing weight, but more reducing the inflammation in my body. Because when you suffer from joint pains and aches and everything, a lot of it's due to having too much inflammation in your body. And when you cut out like the dairy and the gluten and the sugars out of your diet, your body just starts to re replenish itself and fix all the broken things. With that, my bloating reduced. With that, my mind was a lot clearer. With that, I, I could think clearer, I wasn't foggy all the time, I wasn't getting migraines consistently. Um, I was able to try different meals and different dishes and come up with new recipes, which I'll link below as well, different recipe ideas I came up with. And someone of an African origin, I was able to adapt my African dishes to fit within the Daniel Fast compliance um, diet. And I just wanna encourage anybody, a lot of the time we think that we're not capable. But the thing is, we don't have to do it on our own strength. Because even when I wasn't being spiritual, God gave me the ability to go ahead and he gave me the grace to just carry on. It starts with just making a decision. God, this is what I want to do. And then putting the measures in place, simple things like clearing out your cupboards. 
I cleared out my cupboards. Anything that wasn't Daniel Fast compliant in terms of seasoning or foods, I separated them from my house. Obviously, I was the only one doing the fast. So, obviously, I had to cook for my husband and my kids. But I didn't even taste it when I was cooking it. I was just like, here's your meal. Or you can have some of my Daniel Fast meals. Or the seasoning, because there's a lot of, obviously, being black, you cook with a lot of seasoning and flavours. And a lot of these seasons has a lot of sugar and, and, and wheat and gluten all of this hidden in the seasonings without even realizing separating all of them coming up with new meal ideas looking online finding different ideas of easy ways easy cooking ideas i would say the daniel fast changed me spiritually it's changed me spiritually because it realigned my mind to realize the power of being in the presence of god it realigned my um because I think with Christians, we get so comfortable with being at church and being in the presence of God that we don't value the one-to-one -one in that secret place, as it says in Psalms 91, that he who abides under the shadows of the Most High, like being under the shadows of the Most High, being at the feet of his throne, just you and him, and having that one-to-one -one time brings peace because I started getting stressed out for no reason, St like beyond stress. And when I'm stressed, I have migraines that cripple me, that I'm unable to work, I'm unable to look at anybody, I'm unable to speak. So I can't afford to get stressed. It takes away my life. And God was just like, you are getting stressed because you're not at my feet. You are getting stressed because you're carrying your own burden and I've told you to give me your burden because just give it to me. I'm not asking anything from you. Just give me your burden. Cast your burdens upon me because I care for you. And these are the words God's speaking to me and he's speaking to you. So I hope this video helps anybody considering doing the Daniel fast or have thought about it but think, ah, I don't think I can do it. I am here to tell you, you can do it. You can. It's obviously, I did not experience withdrawal symptoms as much from like sugars or anything like that purely because I don't eat that much sugar anyway. My struggle had been African food. <laughs> My love, African food. The heavy, dense, concentrated starches with full of oil and meat. That was my struggle. But regardless of your struggle, it teaches you self-discipline that you can think about something and you maybe desire it, but doesn't mean you have to conform to it it doesn't mean you have to succumb to it and that can now translate to every area of your life so this translated into even simple things but not snapping at my kids as much because if i can control this area of my life i can control this area of my life as well and simple things like that just translating it to every area of your life and showing you that you're capable because sometimes we don't believe in ourselves but when you set your mind to do something with god being the reward and you're able to do it that will translate into every area of your life so i just want to say thank you for watching i appreciate you let me know if you're going to be doing the fast um, i've got all the links below to support you and help you do comment below and don't forget to like share and subscribe